Well, in less than an hour now, Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers is set to deliver his biennial budget address at the state capitol. And this proposal is the first step for lawmakers to decide how money will be spent for the next two years. We have team coverage for you at the capitol tonight, starting with NBC 15's Elizabeth Wattis. Elizabeth, you've been speaking with Democrats about what they want to see in the governor's initial proposal. Yeah, John and Lee, it's something we heard from the governor in his run campaign for governor and at the State of the State address a few weeks ago. The phrase that's become popular now, fixing the darn roads. Now we know and expect the governor to talk about money to invest in re-engineering the roads, expanding driver's education, increases for state patrol trooper positions, and making penalties for reckless and drunk driving harsher. Another hot ticket item on the governor's spending wish list, making roughly $250 million available for public safety aid, specifically to support law enforcement, fire, EMS, and our court system. Democratic State Senator Diane Hesselbein tells me the governor's proposal is really just a first step, and that after the proposal is presented tonight, lawmakers want to hear from citizens on where to dedicate dollars. This is the start of the process, and we want to hear from every single Wisconsinite. So contact your senators and your state representatives and the governor and let them know what you want in the budget. And there might be something that you don't hear tonight that you want in the budget. Let people know. This is the people's budget. It's for the people of the state of Wisconsin, and that's who we work for. So in just a few minutes, we're going to take our camera gear into the state assembly and get our spot to hear the governor. Of course, he is expected to start his speech tonight at 7 p.m. And then again, after that address, we will have team coverage live for you right here on NBC 15. But for now, live in the Capitol, Elizabeth Wattis, NBC 15 News. Elizabeth, thank you. And as we prepare to hear Governor Evers plan, we also have a crew in the Capitol gathering the Republican response to the budget. Ahead of that address, NBC 15's Colton Molesky found out what Republicans are expecting. Lee, one of the points of emphasis following the state of the state address from Republicans was disagreement over that spending plan from Governor Tony Evers. Republicans saying spending out of the surplus was bad budgeting. Ahead of the governor's budget address, Republicans expect to have the same type of plan invoking the same type of concerns. I spoke with Representative Tyler August. He's the majority leader for the assembly. He says the governor is planning on big spending, increased taxes, and not enough tax breaks for the people of Wisconsin. August adds after starting the year with hopes of bipartisanship, he has, he has fears the governor's budget is showing his hand on how working across the aisle will actually go. I came in there hoping that he was going to reach across the aisle and give us some things that we could work together on. And it sounded more like a, a divisive partisan campaign speech, which is really unfortunate. He had a chance to hit the reset button. We were willing to partner with him in doing that. He chose not to. Now, following the budget address, we do plan on hearing from Speaker Robin Boss, as well as other members of Republican leadership. We'll have that for you in the later shows right here on NBC 15, getting that immediate reaction from Republicans right here in the Capitol. Colt Molesky, NBC 15 News.